Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial of SuperSysAdmin.com. Today we will cover how to easily switch between the core and the full GUI version of Windows Server 2012 R2. In Windows Server 2008, Microsoft introduced the Server Core concept. The idea behind was to eliminate unnecessary services and features of the operating system. This allowed both for a smaller footprint and also a smaller attack surface. An additional benefit was that because less components were installed, less components needed patching so we got an improved availability of the server. Now a big disadvantage of the server core in Windows 2008 was that it was only an installation option. So you could either choose between server core installation or a full installation. And once you had made that choice, you were stuck with it for the life cycle of the server. In Windows Server 2012, this approach has been changed. While it seems the choices you get during installation, being server core or server with a GUI, are still similar as in Windows Server 2008, actually under the hood quite a bit has changed. When you choose a server core installation, it will obviously install just a server core. But when you choose server with a GUI, it will also install server core, and then add on top the graphical management tools and infrastructure feature, and the server graphical shell feature. This approach makes it possible to remove the GUI from a full server installation or in the other direction, add the GUI to a server core installation. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have installed a fresh copy of Windows Server 2012 R2 with the full GUI. As mentioned in the previous slide, the GUI is now an installable option. So let's open a PowerShell console and have a look at this. The command let get Windows feature provides us with a list of all available roles and features that we can install. As you can see, the list is quite extensive. So let's run the command again. And this time filter on features which have GUI in their name. As you can see, two results are returned. The graphical management tools and infrastructure and the server graphical shell. If we switch back to our previous slide for a moment, you can see that these are the two features which are built upon server core. Directly on top of the server core, we see the graphical management tools and infrastructure, aka the minimal server interface. And on top of this, we have the server graphical shell, aka the window shell. As this image indicates, the server graphical shell depends on the graphical management tools and infrastructure. Let's switch back to our server. Due to this dependency, if we remove the graphical management tools and infrastructure, it will also remove the server graphical shell. So to remove the complete GUI, we just need to run the command uninstall windows feature name server GUI MGMT infra and I will add the parameter restart to invoke an automatic restart once the operation has completed. And the server will now reboot. Let's sign in again. As you can see, we no longer have a desktop. What we will do now is add the graphical features in two steps. Let's first switch back to PowerShell and run again get Windows feature name and GUI. And as you can see, both features are not installed anymore. So what we'll do now is first install the graphical management tools and infrastructure. This should give us again access to the server manager and also the MMCs. We can do this by running the command install windows feature name server GUI MGMT infra. I will add the restart parameter. And the server will now reboot again. Let's sign in again. So we still have our command prompt. 
and no graphical shell, but you can really see the server manager starting up. If I close that for a second, we can also start it manually by running the command server manager.exe. There you have it. And I will also demonstrate that we now have access to our MMCs. Voila. So let's switch back to PowerShell and run again to get Windows feature name GUI. And as you can see, the graphical management tools and infrastructure is now marked as installed. We will now go ahead and also add again the server graphical shell by running the command install Windows feature name server GUI shell and do an automatic restart. The server will now reboot. Let's sign in again. And you can directly see that we have again our full GUI. Server Manager automatically starts up. We have our Windows Explorer and so on. Maybe one final remark. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've installed the two features separately, but obviously you could do that in one operation. So, that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you learned something, and if you liked it, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit us at superstitsadmin.com for more tips, tutorials and scripts. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you, bye bye.